Hello and welcome back to Terraria. Previous episode, we beat the Frost Moon and we got some cool trophies. So look at this. And what I want to do this episode is I want to kill the Empress of Light. And the Empress of Light is a Halo biome boss. And you don't have to fight her in the Halo, but the summoning item for the boss spawns in the Halo. So I already killed her like a bunch of times. I pretty much have all the drops. I even have the trophy, but something went wrong with the recording, so I have to re-record it. And, uh, you know, so I already got the items, the drops that I can get from her. But uh, let's kill her a bunch more times, you know, why not? And also let's take a look at how we can summon her. The way we summon the Empress of Light is with a prismatic lace wing. And this is a bug, it's a critter. And if we kill this prismatic lace wing, we summon the Empress of Light. But we can also catch this prismatic lace wing. And uh, we do that with a bug net. And uh, we can also release the prismatic lace wing. And if we kill it, we will also summon her. So you can uh, kill it when you encounter a prismatic lace wing, or you can catch it. And you can release it later to kill it. So how do we get prismatic lace wings? Well, they are a pretty rare enemy, so they don't spawn often. Like I said, the summoning item for the Empress of Light is in the Hallow. Uh, and, uh, you know, this, uh, this is the summoning item, so this only spawns in the Hallow. And it only spawns from 7.30pm to 12am. So there's a limited time window where it will spawn. And on top of that, it's also a really rare spawn. So I also brought a life form analyzer. And this will uh, tell you when you encounter a rare enemy. So right now, there are no re rare creatures nearby. So there's no prismatic lace wing. There's a rainbow slime nearby, apparently. And uh, we killed it. So if a prismatic lace wing spawns, it will show up here. We can increase the spawn rate of the prismatic lace wing so we can get uh, so i have uh, so we, we found one let's see if we can find it where is it where is it where is it i can't really find it okay so it's where is it so it's here on the right side they are difficult to find because they are really hard to see at night uh, they don't really glow or anything. They really blend in with the background. So they're also uh, hard to see at night. So um, I bought, I brought a battle potion, which increases the enemy spawn rate. And I also have a water candle, which also increases the spawn rate. So if you use the battle potion and water candle, it will increase the spawn rate of the prismatic lace room. There's one more rainbow slime, and there's also one more prismatic lace wing. Like I said, they are really difficult to see. And uh, this is what I read on the uh, internet. So if you build a platform at about 35 blocks high above the halo, it is easier to find prismatic lace wings, apparently. So you have to build a little platform just above the halo. And it, become, and it will become a little bit easier to find the prismatic lace wings. So no more prismatic lace wings. And when the clock strikes 12 a.m., it will also stop spawning. So we have like half an hour left. And I don't know if I said this, but the boss has two versions. So there's a version you can kill during the night, you can fight during the night. And there is a version you can fight during the day. The one you fight during the day is way more difficult. The one you fight during the day kills you instantly. So if you get hit by any of its attacks, you will die instantly. There's no second chance. The one uh, you fight at night is a lot more forgiving. And you can take a couple of hits before you die. It's still a difficult boss, but it's not as difficult as the one you fight during the day.
the version you fight during the day. So it is 12 a.m. So the prismatic lace wings stop spawning, which means we don't have to farm them anymore. We got four. Uh, yeah, so it's still night. So we're going to fight the night version first. So what we, do we do? We release the prismatic lace wing. And you have to be fast. Otherwise, the prismatic lace wing despawns. So it acts... So I think if you release it in the halo, it won't despawn. So if I release it here... Okay, so my dragon killed the prismatic lace wing. I could not test it out. But from what I read, is if you... Look at this all. So if you release the prismatic lace wing inside of the halo, it won't immediately despawn, but if you release the prismatic lace wing outside of the halo, it will despawn. So we can test it out. We can test it out. So if I can get rid of my Stardust Dragon so it doesn't accidentally summon the, uh, the, the boss again. So if you release it inside of the halo, it should not despawn. No, so it does not despawn. But if you release it outside of the halo, so if you go back home and re release the prismatic lace wing outside here, it will despawn really fast. So uh, the light version is the next for, uh, boss that we're going to fight, the light version of the Empress of Light. And I'm going to fight her on my sky bridge. Uh, in my previous recording, I tried to fight her on this platform by where I also fought the night version. But it is way too difficult, man. I just can't do it. So I have to kind of cheese it. I have to run away from it. And I have to fight it on my uh, sky bridge. Otherwise, I'm not able to beat her. <laughs> so we're just going to wait until daytime. And we can sleep in our bed to make the time go faster. And once it's daytime, we're going to fight the light version of the Empress of Light. It is after 4.30 a.m., which means it is now daytime. And we can summon the light version of the boss. And like I said, the lace wing will immediately despawn if we try to release it outside of the halo. And we have to kill it fast. But what we can do is we can release the prismatic lace wing on top. Of our stardust drag so if we release it on top of the stardust dragon it will immediately be killed by our stardust dragon and we will be able to summon it so as you might see that she also has golden attacks and i died <laughs> yikes so that is how difficult she is she just hits you once and you're dead so I'm just going to get a bunch more Prismatic Lace Wings so we can fight her again, right? I got some extra Prismatic Lace Wing and we're going to try to fight it again. I already died like uh, seven, eight times, so I don't have high hopes. I don't, I seriously don't know how to beat her. I seriously don't know how to beat her, but I did it. <laughs> yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. <laughs> How did I do that? Oh, I thought I would never beat her. Even if you cheese her on a sky bridge of asphalt where you just keep running away from her, she is so difficult, man. Oh my god, but I beat her. I beat that son of a gun. Daughter of a gun. So if you kill her during the day, what you get is you get this. And this is a minion summoning item. So, uh, Let's get rid of my dragon. Where's my dragon? So these are swords that you can summon. Uh, I don't know which one is better. This one or my dragon. Yeah, I think they're both good. But you get this one so late. That it is kind of worthless. So you get this so late in the game. This uh, minion summoning item. That you don't really need it anymore. So let's try to kill her once more but with these new minions does it help at all i don't know i 
I don't know if it helps. I think I just got used to her attack, so I can dodge them better. I think they're that this minion summoning item is about the same as the dragon. They're about uh, as good as each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this inventory because it's really messy. And then we will continue. So if you take a look at the items that we got, what did we get? So we got a vanity item. It's this mask of the queen herself. Uh, we got... These wings, which allow you to fly up really fast. And I also have this bow, which shoots multiple arrows at once. And then this die as well. So you can die, for example, your wings, this uh, prismatic color. And it uh, changes color. Then this sword, which has high uh, attack uh, speed. This magic item which home on enemies and then we also have this whip it has almost double the damage of our previous whip so this one has insane damage and then of course we also get this minion summoning item and this uh, trophy but i already have this trophy so pretty cool all in all pretty cool and then lastly what i've been doing in between episodes is a little bit of building and I built this wizard tower and I housed the wizard and the party girl both inside of this tower. So uh, I also built the wizard tower inside of the hallow because they both enjoy being in the hallow. And the party girl also likes the company of the wizard. The wizard doesn't particularly like the company of the party girl, but you know, that's the way it is. So this is what the tower looks like. I built this little study room where the wizard can study his magic. He can do some alchemy. There are some potion uh, bottles nearby with which he can experiment on this potion uh, table, on this alchemy table. And then uh, I have this staircase, this spiraling staircase. And I also put like a bunch of books inside of that spiraling staircase because, uh, you know, the wizard has so many books, he puts them even. He fills even his staircase with books. Also put a, little, a bunch of paintings. It just looks nice. I really like the way it looks. And then the party girl has her own little space down bottom in the basement. And, uh, you know, she can do her own things with her house pets and uh, her plants. And then there's also this little work area on the outside. But what I'm might even do is i'm gonna put the bunny in here so she can even have an extra pet okay so that's cute and that's it for this episode so i want to thank you guys for watching please leave a like also leave a comment comments really help with the algorithm and you would be helping me out and subscribe thanks again for watching and bye, -bye.